What is going on guys, it's Zaro with another Rainbow Siege video. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys the best defending strats that me and my friends use while playing Garage Wars. So, so basically what Garage Wars is, it's a game like a game mode that the people of Rainbow kind of made. And what you do is, uh, it's on the new map house. It's on the old house too, but you can't play that anymore. But basically, as you're defending, you sit in Garage and you just defend the garage door the garage wall and the door the attackers can only come in from those two ways so that's what you defend you cannot go anywhere else but the garage so that's basically how you play garage wars it's a really fun game mode if you guys haven't played before make it or you guys should try it out if you don't have anyone to play with you guys can find people in comments down below or if you guys uh, have xbox i'm not for sure for placing i think they might but you guys can do looking for group posts stuff like that that's what i do it's always fun to play against people like that All right let's get into the video Alright guys, so the first character we're going to go over with is Smoke. I like Smoke for um, Garage Warriors because he has a deployable shield. And his gadget can stop them from rushing in with the last couple seconds. Because as you guys can see right now, in a regular Garage Wars, there's a three minute timer. And eventually, they will have to rush in because they're going to run out of time. And that's when you can get your smokes off. And also, you can put the deployable in the doorway and have your Cade, Bandit, or Mute watching your wall. So with that, you play this like, deployable like you see me playing. And as when they come up is when you want to shoot them. And you want to always have your smoke in the hallway. So as soon as you, they start rushing, you can either pop your smoke or peek up and try to shoot them. As you see right there, I could peek up and try to shoot him as if he walked in. So I could have easily killed him. And here right here is a scenario of him with them trying to rush in at the end. So I saw a quick peek it like that. Keep popping him. He keeps falling back, and then I pull out my shotgun, and then boom, one tap, and that's the round. So yeah, smoke shotgun. Make sure you guys, if you do go smoke, go deployable and shotgun and uh, do what I did. You be the guy watching the doorway, not the guy playing with the bandits and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, part two to smoke is the same thing. You put your deployable there, but yeah, this is the part when they start rushing. You saw as I put through my smoke right there in the corner, I can see them through the little the glass of the deployable shield. And second, the timer starts getting low or they start pushing. If you want to play a little bit less passive instead of peeking because they could pre-fire you, just when you pop your smoke, you can move back. As you see, as I did right there, and it holds a lot of time because if they get in that smoke, that is 20 damage like every couple seconds. Right, I think it's every second or every two seconds. It does about 20 damage, so that will go down. And eventually, they have to either run out or run at you, and that's when you're sitting right there with the shotgun and you pop them. As you see, the smoke also gets cover. So they can't see you as well. And you can see them through the glass pretty easily still. So as you can see right here in the kill cam, I can see him right there. He probably couldn't see me that well and bop, I popped him right there. Number one rule for defending in Garage Wars, if you want to win, is to always have an anti-breacher. That means always have a Cade, a Bandit, or a Mew. All three of them are good. It's basically all preference. I prefer Cade because I really like his gun. And his gadget is a lot easier to uh, Cade trick now. So what you guys want to do, uh, also, if you are the aren't anti-breacher, you guys want to do the reinforcing on the two walls Why your other player uh, gets ready if he does a deployable shield like I showed you earlier. So basically what you want to do is you want to sit on the wall, hold your Kate out. You can always usually have one on the wall, and as they thatcher it, just throw the other one and keep going, picking it up, thatchering it. Pick, or as soon as he throws the thatcher, you pick it up like right here. So I throw it, he thatchered, I throw it, I hold the other one out. As soon as he thatchers, as you thatcher it, boom, I throw the other one. And then I pick it up and keep going back and forth like that. That is the best way to cade trick. It works out very well. You guys just have to listen for sounds in the color. Because you can't always see the little blue light of the thatcher. So you just guys have to listen for that sound. And make sure you guys are paying attention to the wall. And also here are some good angles for you guys to play. If you want to play the wall, you can play behind the car. And you can play all over here in this left corner. It just depends if they get wall or if you guys pop wall and things. It's just different scenarios. Here are just some different angles for you guys to watch. So you see right here is a, here's a little pixel peek that you guys can watch. Also, you can watch through the car window. That is very good. And then the best one right here is over here at the, where the door is. That's once you get all aces or thermites or habanas destroyed. That's when you want to come over here and hold this pixel peek right here. It is so tight that it's so hard to see you. For them to see you, they'd have to show themselves. And as you see, I got a pixel peak kill, and he couldn't even see me. Like that is an insane peak. It will not get you killed. You have to, if for them to get you, uh, for them to kill you, they'd have to pretty much pre-fire a tiny little pixel peak angle, which is nearly impossible to do. So yeah, that is it for Cade.
All right, guys. So next up, we have Wamai. Wamai is very good for someone that's not running the anti reacher but running a deployable shield. I use Wamai because of his deployable shield and his gadget. What you want to do is put your deployable shield in the door, as you see, can see me doing right now. Oh uh, yeah, so as you can see right there, I have this hatch popped, and as you see, I throw my Wamai up there in the corner. I'm doing this because eventually, if you keep running this strat, they're going to start bringing a Asher's of or grenades. And as you can see, I threw it up at the top so it didn't blow my deployable shield up, and my Wamai ate his Zofia charge. It's very good because they can pop the, uh, the deployable shield, so you going Wamai destroys, stops them from popping it. And as you can see, yeah, I ate both his impacts, so he couldn't do that, and I popped him as he tried to shoot his uh, concussion, and boom, that's how you win. So yeah, as you can see, with my, you need someone to pop that hatch, you can throw him higher up, because if you throw him closer, the impact will still destroy the deployable shield. So make sure you guys have a, someone, a teammate with a C4 or a shotgun, that is very helpful, and I, I'll see you guys in the next video.